this is a May empties, sort of April empties because it's the 4th of May. And I wasn't going to do this for a while, but um, I'm going away and I think my house sitter will think it's weird if I have this like bag full of empty bottles hidden in my bathroom. So I thought I'd go through them and then I can chuck them all out. Um, obviously the first thing is the cow shed grumpy cow shampoo I really feel like I should find something else but um I love it so much I, I, I can't imagine loving anything as much but if you have any silicon free um shampoos that are really good for fine hair then uh, let me know in the comments um, the next two things, and you can see they've got water in the bottom because I've been filling them up to get everything out. These are the Waitrose um, Moisturising Bath Foam. This is ginger and clementine and wild fig and sandalwood have also got. Um, these are like £1.50 from Waitrose, which is a supermarket in the UK. Um, and they're just really good because they're £1.50. They're, they're not like hugely smelly, but they don't smell of nothing and they genuinely give you bubbles in your bath and they just smell great um then i've got the mane and tail conditioner um which i really liked and was made my hair feel really nice and soft and then i found that a shop near me stocked it but they didn't have the normal conditioner they've just got the moisturizing conditioner which i'm using at the moment and i don't like half as much i don't know if it's because i've got fine hair so it weighs it down or um what but it's just not as nice so i really like this conditioner and i did go to rebuy it um interestingly this was seven pounds in liberty in my local shop it was three pounds fifty or the moisturising one that I got was £3.50. Um, so, yeah. Then, oh, this is dusty. Thanks, builders. Another conditioner. This is the Kukui Oil um, conditioner from Organics. I This was my favourite of the Organics ones. They do a whole load of different ones with argan oil and um, Moroccan oil and things. And... Um, this was my favourite and then it kind of stopped working. I like to have a load of different conditioners and kind of rotate them because I feel like they do, maybe it's because they coat your hair a little bit each time. I don't know, but um, this is my favourite of the Organics one. Again, I always go cheap on the conditioner and spend money on the shampoo. Um, ran out of this, which is Dove Soft Feel. Um, warm powder scent antiperspirant. Um, I really like Dove deodorants because I feel like they, they don't irritate my skin and they smell nice and they're easy to get hold of and they're not too expensive um, and I got sent this one to try this because it was part of the new soft feel um, range and I used it all it's empty and I really liked it. Gone back to my cucumber one because I love the smell of the cucumber one. Um, but it's the Dove one that I'm using. So Then an empty Hello Flawless um, Oil Free SPF 25 Oxygen Wow uh, Brightening Makeup that from Benefit. If you've seen my review... Well, if you see my blog or anything, you'll know that I really like this foundation. My only problem with it is the price. And bizarrely, my sister's using it. She went into Benefit and they recommended it to her and she bought it. And she doesn't love it. And I couldn't get her to point, pinpoint why she didn't love it. Because she loves Chanel Vitalumia Aqua, which I also recommended to her which is a bit more expensive. And we both decided it's because we feel like benefit products we feel okay spending the amount we spend on Chanel we don't feel okay spending the amount that we spend on this for a benefit product and we couldn't really work out why because their products are good and she uses a lot of their products at the moment we can work out if it was the packaging or just the way we felt about the brand or what it was um, but I love this and I've re-bought it and I'm using it again 
then this, which is really weird. Um, Eve Rocher. It's kind of hard. Um, sorry, it's really hard for me to have this bag because I've got no room on my knee because the bump. Um, Eve Rocher is a really hard brand to talk about because it's not very readily available in this country. Um, and I fell in love with this, which is the Inositol Vegetal Moisturiser. And I loved it. It's Action Peel Renew because my, it made my skin look really glowing and it was so reasonably priced. I went on there to buy the Sexy Pulp Mascara, saw this and it was incredibly cheap and I thought I'd give it a go. Um, Total Radiance treating, Treatment it's called and it did, it gave me glow. It was in, incredible and now I can't seem to find it on their website so I don't know if they've discontinued it or they've just discontinued it in the UK or what's going on there. Um, then I've got my little tester, the Lancome Hypnose Drama, which I then went and bought the full size of. Um, Lancome Hypnose Mascara. There seems to be a series of different ones. I like drama because I like as much mascara as possible. Um, it seems to be a very reliable formula and a lot of people like it. And when I ask a lot of people what their favourite mascaras are, quite often um, Lancome Hypnose in some form will come up. Loads of mascaras. Bobby Brown Eye Opening Mascara um, was a weird one. I really liked it. It was really full on. It was one of those ones that was better when it had been open for a month um, because it was really full on and clumpy before. I always say I don't mind clumpy. I've got an eyelash spoolie comb thing that I use so I'm fine to have clumpy because I can comb them out. Um, but this was kind of too clumpy to begin with and then it dried quite quickly. So there is still some in here but it's just so... Um, dry that it doesn't really go on nicely anymore so I mean I'd say if you're someone who likes a full-on mascara and you only have one mascara and you're going to use that mascara every single day then this is great but because I have a lot to test I'm a bit of a mascara addict um I wasn't using it every single day and therefore it dried up and it just got you know harder and harder to use um if I was going to go and get a Bobbi Brown mascara now, um, which I would very happily do, because I'd very happily go and get the Smoky Lash mascara, because I love that. That's a great formula. I've got the Nars Audacious mascara, which I was testing. Um, it was a little sample size. Very good mascara. Probably one of my top recommended ones if you're someone who likes a plastic brush rather than a kind of traditional non-plastic brush. Um, not at all waterproof. This will, like any sign of water, this is going to descend on your face. Um, which is fine, I wore it a lot. Um, but I did wear it once <laughs> where I had to go to the hospital with my son and I cried and I looked and I was like, I have not looked like a panda for years. Um, so just a word of warning on that. And then these. First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I love these and actually, I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can work out how to point. There is a new tub, all ready to go on holiday with me. One of the reasons I love these is because they come in this pot and they're, they're pads. They're like um, old school nail varnish removing pads, um, but not nail varnish removing pads they're for your face um they're so good for traveling because you just plump this pot in and you know you don't need to worry about having cotton wool with you or anything else um they give a really nice glow gently exfoliate they're alcohol free so they're safe for sensitive skin and they're just generally great um and so that's it so i will um do another empties video soon i hope you're all having a lovely may and i will See you next time. Thanks for watching.